class. Welcome to Monday. And I wanted to go over some information that will help you to access the final exam and go through the textbook just a little bit, just so that you know what information is going to be covered on the exam. So a couple of things. First of all, if you go to our home page and you scroll down to modules, we are in our final module. So this is it. We are almost finished. And I want to note that our course ends on the 12th, which is a Saturday. So make sure that you uh, see that early, due, that early due date for these, for the final exam and for this week, this module seven. So if you go to the overview and look at week seven, you'll see some information regarding the exam. The exam is going to be on chapters seven through 11. There's going to be 50 questions on the exam. The exam is going to be timed. Uh, they're just randomly combined by, um, uh, the questions are randomly combined, so you, there won't be any two exams that are the same. They're a combination of multiple choice, true and false, and the exam is worth 100 points. You're going to have two hours to complete the exam, okay? So you also only have one chance to take the exam, so make sure you're prepared. Also, don't wait until the last minute because you do have two hours to take the test, but if you run into any technical difficulty, you uh, won't have time to contact tech support, and once the course ends, there is no makeups for the exam. So there's a few things that I wanted to just go over when you access the exam. You'll go to modules or however you access it. Sometimes you can go to assignments. You'll click on exam and that's where you'll get that same prompt, uh, same thing that I just covered. And then you can, you know, go ahead and I think you have an, uh, a button that says uh, to take the test. So uh, go ahead and take that exam. And the content that will be covered is going to be in our textbook, Movies and Meaning. And you'll see that the content is going to be on chapters 7 through 11. All right, so make sure that you go through each of the chapters. For example, page you know 213, if you go there, you'll see chapter 7. Take a look at these objectives. Um, each of these objectives will kind of give you some things that you need to kind of own as far as knowledge. So if you can explain why a script serves as the foundation for a film, you probably already then would be able to answer questions regarding that. Um, it's not really just about memorizing terms, although that is helpful as well. Uh, it is more uh, understanding and being able to uh, really comprehend the objectives of the of each chapter. Okay, so make sure that you go through those objectives and, and really kind of go through an understanding what those are. The next thing that you should do is for each chapter, just go through and take a look at the bolded terms. Okay, so that you understand what those are as well. These are all the important things. You don't necessarily have to read the entire entire chapter, but you do want to skim it and make sure that you're understanding the gist of things. If you don't, please then take the time to read that section. Okay, uh, here's some more bolded terms, for example, in chapter seven. At the end of each chapter, then would be the third and final thing that you would want to. Uh, you know, really get an understanding of so that you can prepare for the final exam. I am getting there and we're scrolling through. There's a lot of case studies in here, which is pretty cool. And so that's helpful as well. Let's see. Very long chapter. Just scroll through. So we're still in chapter seven. This is why skimming is important. Uh, film noir is uh, an in, in, interesting and very important to uh, take a look at. Make sure that you understand what that is. 
Okay, so at the end, we finally made it, wow. All right, so at the end, you'll have some key information as well. Read the summary, read the summary. Read the just the little intro and read the summary. Make sure that you know these concepts, okay? Uh, go back through if you need to. So first thing, look at the objectives. Make sure that you understand those. Make sure that you understand any bolded words or <clears throat> terms. Make sure you read the summary and then make sure you know what these key terms and concepts are, okay? That is the best way for you to study for the final exam. And of course, you'll go through each of the chapters and do that. 7 through 11, you don't have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. you got five chapters, so not a lot of studying that you have to do, but it, it is a good thing to get started soon. Just remember, this final exam is due by Saturday. So make sure that you get an early start, an early start, okay? I will be posting grades right away. They are due pretty quickly since this was a half term. And so I really do not have a lot of room to give you any sort of space for um, uh, a makeup. So make sure you get started early. Hopefully you get it done by Wednesday or Thursday. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I've enjoyed our time together in class, and I hope you have as well.